हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू आर एज अ टैलेंट आई एम मैथ्स टीचर अर्पिता शर्मा स्टूडेंट्स वी आर डिस्कसिंग मैथमेटिक्स चैप्टर टू एंड दैट इज पॉली नॉमियल ओके सो स्टार्टिंग विद राइटिंग द नेम ऑफ आवर चैप्टर विच इज पॉलिनोमियल हाउ आर यू ऑल फाइन ओके सो we were discussing the factorization method in polynomials right okay so we were discussing factorization method and we have done some questions based on this thing that if gx we were talking about gx and px so we uh, learned that if gx is a factor of px then the value we have calculating from this gx okay that x equals to a so when we put a in the place of x in p x that means p a the value of p a will become zero only if g x is the factor of p x only if the g x is the factor of p x understood okay on that particular thing we have done some questions okay now we will do some more questions and what are these questions have a look we'll factorize first we have done and the second one is this 2x square plus 7x plus 3. Now look at the texture here and also there. What we know in that particular question in our just lecture, just the uh, previous lecture, that the format of ax square plus bx plus c. Now I have told you that you have to multiply ab, ac, so you will get ac. Now this ac you will split such that that will be equals to b. You will split this AC in uh, let's suppose B plus D such that B plus D equals to not B let's suppose E. You will split this AC equals to E plus D such that E plus D equals to B, right? So that was our concept. Okay, so we will work on the same concept in this second part also. so ready to solve the questions okay here solution part second now px which is given will always write in this format px polynomial of x okay in the very first and second class we learned that okay so px equals to 2x square plus 7x plus 3 is that so now what is the question we have to factorize it in order to factorize it now look at these this is 3 multiply by 2 which is equals to 6 now do some factorization of 6 such that the addition of these factors is going to be equals to the b and which is equals to 7 here so this is the basic format of ax square plus bx plus c so 6 Prime factors three and two. Now three a plus two is five. Okay. Now you are having six multiplied by one equals to also six. Now the good news is six plus one is seven. Hmm. Now this is the something we are looking for. So this is all your rough work. Okay. Now you can rewrite it as p x equals to. Px. Why we are doing all this exercise to factorize this polynomial, given polynomial. Okay, so that will be 2x square as it is. Now 7x. That is our bx. Now we have to buffer at uh, bx such that the uh, that will be equal to 7x for sure again. But the 2 will be the factors that will give 6. That is 2 multiplied by 3. So here it is 6x plus x plus 3. now what is the benefit of it here it is px equals to take common what you can take common from here 2 and x okay 2 and x okay so 2x i am taking common after taking 2x common what i am getting x here plus 3 here okay plus now common what is common one only okay now you will get This two x plus one because three x plus one or three x plus three is common, so take it common. 
what will you remain with? This is 2 x here and plus 1 here. So, now this is what? Something multiplication of something, you are getting no plus minus in between. So, this is one factor, this is second factor. So, this is your answer. Understood it? Okay. This is the first uh, second portion of it and which uh, uh, that have finished now. Now, we are having this third part. The third part P x is given as what it is 6 x square plus 5 of x minus 6. Again 6 x square plus 5 of x minus 6. Now, what we have to do just multiply this to this ok this is like this only right. So, multiply this to this that is 36 here ok 36. So, do the prime factorization and then we will find out right. So, 36 having 6 multiplied by 6 not 2 multiplied by 3 multiply by 2 multiply by 3. 3 to the 6, 2 to the 12, 3 to the 36. So, this is the factor. Now, what I have to make this 5 x. How can I make 5 x? This is 9 and this is 4. Look here again. This is 9 and this is 4. That means I can write it like 9 multiply by 4. 3 is a 9, 2 2 is a 4. 9 minus 4, I told you subtraction or addition. You can apply both processes. Okay. So, there is a subtraction, 9 minus 4 will give you a 5, and which is what I exactly needed here. Okay. So, that can be written as simply 6 x square plus 9 minus 4. So, 9 x minus 4 x minus 6. Okay, understood. Now, that can be written as what will you take uh, common from them? 3, right? 3 can be taken common here. 3 and x. Okay. So, 3 x is common. If it is 3 x here, that will be 2 x remaining plus 3 common. Okay. Now, what you can take common here? You will uh, take 2 common here then 2 x minus 2 you are taking common 2 x plus 3. Now, 2 x plus 3 here 2 x plus 3 here that means you are again having a common term and you will write it here this here p x equals to 3 x minus 2 this 3 x this minus 2 and this 2 x plus 3. So, now this is what something which is your answer factorized it converted into factors ok. Now, the third one we getting this third one as p x equals to 6 x square plus 5 x minus 6 ok. Now, this is your p x. Again, the format is ax square plus bx minus uh, plus c. Okay, so what will you do? Again, we are getting the same question again. Second and third. Okay, we have done this third one. We have to write the fourth one. This is the third one. Okay, so we are having this fourth one here, and the question is 3x square. Completely, I have to remove. So px equals to 3x square minus x minus 4 yeah sure again the same uh, thing x square plus b x minus sorry plus c. So, this is the same format students now you will be having this 4 multiply by 3 4 multiply by 3 is equals to 12. Now, you have to somehow write it like uh, you will get minus x now minus 4 plus 3 you will take the both uh, factors now minus 4 minus 3 is minus 1 and you are getting minus 1 here minus 1 multiply by x ok. So, that implies that p x will be equals to 3 x square. Now, how will you write minus x? Simply minus 4 and 3 format minus 4 x plus 3 x format. Again you can calculate it this is 3 x square minus 4 x plus 3 x is minus x. So, again you have rewrite it there is nothing changed and minus 4 here.
then P x equals to will be now what will you take common you can just only take four, uh, x common so that will be x 3 x minus 4 common you here you will uh, getting nothing common so you will be having what common 1 common here so taking 1 common that will make 3 x minus 4 now what is what is common here in that particular term you are having 3 x minus 4 and 3 x minus 4 common so 3 x minus 4 ok so you will get x plus 1 here again this is what student your answer ok so you have done the second third and fourth part now you know how to factorize when it comes to x square plus bx plus c format now you have done with this particular thing but student tell me one thing this is all we are talking about x square plus bx plus c this format we are talking about so is that the meaning that we cannot have this x cube plus bx square plus cx plus d format that can be also situation right in that particular situation what you are going to do ok so we will study about this particular format also in our questions for now copy this all copy it completely copy it ok Let us see what is in the bucket of our questions. Here is again factorize, factorize x cube. The thing I was talking about that you can have an a x cube plus b x square plus c x plus d format. You are going to apply both the concept here of that x minus a will be a factor and that case p a is going to be 0 right ok we will apply first this concept and then we will apply this x square plus b x plus c concept of us that we have used in the previous questions the whole four part of uh, all uh, four parts of previous question we have used this concept so we are very familiar with this ok we have become now very familiar with this now what we have to do this we have to add one more step to that ok so the very first part of it is p x given x cube minus 2 x square minus x plus 1 is that so this is given to you guys x cube minus 2 x square minus x plus 1 yes it is now <coughs> I am telling you that you are familiar with this but you are not familiar with this one so what you will do to eliminate this cube from here so that you can have only this ax square plus b plus c format bx plus c format and you can apply all the way you have learned before this ok so what i will do here i will look into it and will apply this method x minus a will be a factor if p a equals to 0 so will i i what i will do i will just now try to have the hit and trial method what is hit and trial method you just put some value and get that value as 0 if that value becomes 0 if p is 0 that means x minus is a factor ok if p is 0 x minus a will be a factor by this concept by this concept I am telling you that put 1 here let us put 1 here and see what is the result so p 1 will be 1 minus 2 minus 1 plus 1 1 minus 2 multiply by 1 ok minus 1 1 
So, that will be minus 2 minus 3 ok. So, minus so 1 is not working let us talk about 0 if I will put 0 here 0 0 0 1 is remaining it is not working ok. Hit and trial that means you have to put the value and find out it whether it is correct or not. P minus 1 let us talk about this because in the last I am getting 1 now factor if uh, factor of 1 is only 1 factor of 1 is only 1. So, I have to put 1 only ok. So, that will be minus 1 cube minus 2 minus 1 square minus minus 1 plus 1 just put minus 1 each and everywhere you are getting x. So, that will be odd pass so minus 1 minus 2 multiply by plus 1 so 2 minus minus 1 is plus 1 and this is plus 1 for sure ok. So, you are getting it here 2 and 3 so minus 3 and here 1 and 1 2 here you are getting minus 1 ok. So, again this is not a factor of this p x. So, basically what happened that we wronged it here that is 2 plus 2 here. So, again I am repeating the same procedure over there what we were doing we were starting right from uh, even your books this is 2 students so correct it ok. So, P 1 I was talking so here it will be also 2 ok. So, if it is 2 here then P 1 will be equals to 1 minus 2 1 square minus 1 plus 2 ok that will give me 1 minus 2 minus 1 plus 2 1 minus 2 minus 1 plus 2. So, that will be cancelled out by this and that will be cancelled out by this that means P 1 is the factor. If P 1 is factor of if P 1 is giving 0 that means P 1 is P a this implies that x minus a is a factor of P x x minus a which is equal to g x ok. This implies that x minus what is value of a 1 minus 1 is a factor of P x x minus 1 is a factor of p x. Now, I have to make it x minus 1. Now, I will be doing this as p x equals to x cube minus 2 x square minus of x plus 2. Now, what I have to make x minus 1 is a factor x minus 1 is a factor. So, I have to write in such a way that x minus 1 I can have from here. Now, if I will have this x square here from common from these two. So, what will I have x from here, but minus of 2 from here I do not need this minus 2 I need minus 1. So, how will I change it to in order to get x minus 1 here if it is uh, becoming only x square here if it is here only minus of x square that means, I will take x square common and then I will be remaining with the x minus 1 ok. So, I am rewriting it as x cube minus x square that will give x minus 1 as common. Now, if it is minus x square what will I write here in order to become uh, it uh, in order to uh, maintain this minus 2 x square minus x square minus x square is minus 2 x square minus x square minus x square equals to minus of 2 x square. This is the same here. So, minus x square I am writing minus x square also then minus x plus 2 as it is what I have done I have just split this minus of 2 x square into minus x square and minus x square ok getting my point. Now, why we did that because 
here I can take x square common and I will be remaining with x minus 1. Why this x minus 1 is so important which is because it is a factor of p x and I have to factorize it and that was becoming so disturbing for me because I was getting this x cube here and I am not having this particular format of x square plus b x plus c. So, I have to change in that format ok. Now, I am getting this after that I will be having this minus x square minus x plus 2. Now, I am getting this x square plus uh, ax square plus bx plus c format. Now, 2 multiply by 1 is what? 2. How can you write 2 such that you can get a 1, a 1 here. So, you will getting 2 multiply by 1 is 2 and 2 minus 1 is 1. So, I am getting minus here, minus here. So, what will I get? Minus 2 plus 1 equals to minus 1. I want minus 1 here ok. Now, x square x minus 1 ok. Here, I am having this minus x square bifurcate this minus x as it is minus of 2 x plus x plus 2. Now, again you can just look at like this x minus x square minus x square minus 2 x plus x minus x minus x plus 2 plus 2 ok nothing has changed. That will be x square x minus 1 and here I am getting what I can take common from here minus x ok. So, minus x what do I want x minus 1 as my factor. If I will take x common here minus x common here what will I get x minus 2. I do not need x minus 2 I need x minus 1 so that I can take common x minus 1 from everywhere from everywhere this is my motive. So, what will I do I will rewrite it like x square minus not minus but plus x minus 2 x plus 2 I just flip them I just flip them minus 2 x here and x here ok I just rearrange them. After that come this side that will be x square x minus 1. Now, look here minus x I am taking common. So, minus x taking common remaining with x minus 1 ok x minus 1 finish there. Now, I am taking minus 2 common here minus 2 getting x minus 1 here right this is I am getting that implies that p x equals to what will I do now I am taking this x minus 1 x minus 1 x minus 1 common ok. So, x minus 1 common. So, I am getting this x square minus x minus 2 in the other bracket x square minus x minus 2. This is 1, this is 2. Now, these are two factors, but that process can be again repeated like p x equals to x minus 1, x square minus x plus 2 ok. Now, that can be that can be re uh, repeated as this is, this is x square minus x uh, minus 2. So, we, can, we are having a, uh, again the factors as 2 getting this minus 2. So, that will be written as x square minus 2 x plus x minus 2. So, that will be p x equals to x minus 1 x square x common ok should I write it something uh, upside ok. So, I am just repeating the these steps here I am just repeating these steps here that was your x square x minus 1 minus x x minus 1 here after that minus 2 x minus 1 here after that you will be finding that p x equals to x minus 1 multiply of x square minus x minus 2 ok. 
then you converted it in p x equals to x minus 1 x square minus 2 x plus x minus 2 ok. So, now you are getting this p x equals to x minus 1 as it is. Now, look at this curly bracket you are getting this x as common x common. So, you will get x minus 2 x here ok and sorry x minus 2 here getting x common. So, getting x minus 2 here plus 1 and x minus 2 again common. So, this x minus 1 is as it is now you are getting x minus 2 common. So, x minus 2 and x plus 1 here x plus 1. So, this x minus 1 x plus 1 and x minus 2 is again now what your factor this is your answer ok. Note it so that we can move forward noted completely ok noted. So, student this is about today's lecture now you understood how to factorize you are having the cubes in it. So, this is the particular formula first you have to change it in the square format and then you have to again factorize it the way we factorize it in the previous session ok. So, this is about today this is about today's lecture do one or two more questions on that let us try these three questions and we will do these three questions also, but in our next lecture ok till then keep enjoying your life and keep studying hard bye bye.